Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for a preview of our next season build the F-14 Tomcat. <laughs> okay this is killing me guys. I have to see if I fix my valve. Okay what I did is uh See, remember this was in the F4, it was brand new, and it crashed. When I crashed, I busted off two of these nipples, okay? I couldn't get no more nipples that would fit that. Okay, so it's just kind of been sitting over there in the drawer, okay? Now, when I got this Tomcat, and everything's four millimeter line on the gear. It's big airline, okay? And it came with two of these. I thought, man... I bet if I could get them in that valve, it would fix it. Okay, so what I did is I took one of my brand new cobalt bits, that size, you know, for the, I needed to tap it. And uh, I held it up like this and I drilled it from the bottom and just let it spit out just one long, you know, uh, shaving of aluminum so I didn't get nothing inside, like from a dull bit drilling it like this, you know and uh, tapped them. And I actually had to uh, grind the bottom off my tap. I had to make it, there, you can buy them, they're called bottom end taps. But all there are is taps with the ends grinded off just a little bit. It's still got to have a little bit of that rounded edge. But I got this, this one in deep enough. And how this was set up was, uh, you know, when you unscrew these, that them are pretty long, okay? Then down inside this aluminum, it goes way back. But there's a pretty good size hole. I mean, it's 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 that big around. The big restriction on this, I, I believe, is these little tiny holes here. So I ran my bit just down to that. It's like a little lip inside there. And then drilled it and tapped it, screwed it in. Okay, I was one short. If I didn't replace this side, what good would all this airline be if I had a little airline going to it? So uh, I went to the hobby store and got an 832 pressure tap and did the same thing on this side. And uh, I got the air tanks installed. They are right there. See them? And they both have the four millimeter line. They haven't got great big old holes in them air tanks. Big old nipples. Okay, and then the gear. I didn't show you guys the gear. I was pretty impressed. With this gear set up, man, they're, they're like a tank, man. You see, it's, all, it's only got a flange on one side. That's this side. This side's bolted directly to this wood here on a big old carbon plate that goes down and interlocks with all this stuff over here. I mean, them gear is in there. This wood here, it's like three eighths of an inch plus a three sixteenths of carbon. So that's half inch. <laughs> You know, three half inch of wood and a bunch of carbon on top of that. That was three quarter inches. And see, it's got the big nipples on these big old cylinders too. So all this air line, everything has to be big. If you got one piece of small line on it, it just won't work right. I believe anyway. I don't know, there ain't no instructions. <laughs> That's a bad thing about jet like this stuff, you know. The instructions are very poor. But if you don't know how to do it, you shouldn't be messing with something like this. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's uh, get this hooked up right quick. Well, I'm doing this while my parts are setting up. You know? I've got my work done for the day. This is... <laughs> okay. This is my inlet side. Let's go back up just a little bit. I'm going to see a little better. This is my inlet. Already got that rig. Yeah, that's a pretty big lift. Some of this stuff you yeah. actually hold that air line up just a little bit. This is huge. This nipple's almost too big. If you get that stuff just warm, just not hot, you don't want to melt it. You just want to warm it up a little. Now this. My gear door still got this. 
My gear door still got this small stuff. Okay. Well, you know, there's 80 percent chance of getting a 50-50 situation wrong. <laughs> okay, bam, that's done. Done deal. What we're gonna do is plug it into the receiver. We have two ports coming out. One's brake, one's retracts. See if what I'm gonna hook this up P51 style. All I have to do is plug in another solenoid right there and then set this valve. And then these other gear doors will open and shut each time the gear cycles. I'm gonna plug the gear in. season going to get started on this build man we're going to have the f-14 marathon oh yeah i'm going to collect all my parts i'm going to have everything at once and we're going to slam it bam week we're going to have a tomcat flying once i get started anyway i also kind of want to check the system for leaks Before I get too uh, carried away and get this nose on here and everything. Balkamizing an airplane. <laughs> Balkamizing is when you take all this stuff and hook it up with three foot of extra. This is balkamized. <laughs> John can't watch this video. <laughs> but I'm testing my box, is what I'm doing because you know it was damaged. Now you're always going to lose a little bit of air right from the start because the air going through compressor gets hot and then when it gets in the tank pulls off it loses just a few, couple of pounds and it should stabilize no emergency leaking it's all looking good okay and let me crank you guys down so you can get a better view are going to stay open I got them hooked up because I want these to shut again after the gear come down you know and then when you raise the gear they open you're going they close again and it's going to be p51 style okay you ready mark set go uh oh I got that plugged in the right port this hat Retracts, retracts, one, two, three. Oh, I got it in the wrong hole. There we go. Alright. Ready? Mark, set, go. Bam. See, then need to shut. Then when you put the gear down. Shut it. 
Now all we got to do to do that is plug another solenoid into that same valve I got. And I'm going to use one of them Jetronic dual action valves. And uh, that'll take care of that. This is actually going to have four of them Jetronic dual action valves in it. I'm going to use them too and a sequencer for the canopy to go up and down, the canopy locks, the speed brakes in the back, and uh, them landing gears. Have four of them in it. And I'm going to have to place some more tanks. I think I'm going to put them inside. I have a shelf, so I'm kind of getting this planned out too, where I'm going to put stuff. These gear, the tanks go right here too. Two on that side, two on that side that slide in them holes. And then there's two more big ones that go here. And you got a little bit of room on this side. You put like half your cords that way and the other half that way. That's the way it showed in the on the website. That's probably what I'm gonna do. But I got a little bit of room here. I think I could put like two of them little air cylinders on each side for uh, my speed brakes and the canopy. Uh, I think them two gears uh, tanks are fine for, uh, for the gear and the gear doors. I'm going to have to get another one. Well, there's a place in the fuselage for two. I don't know. I'll get that figured out. But uh, that's what I got going. And my valve works. I'm happy. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to leave it hooked up for a while and watch that gauge. Watch this gauge. See, it's holding tough, no leaks. And then uh, I'll pull the gear up. See, that's when it's down. There's no leaks when it's down. And you want to, that's these other gear doors shutting, is what you're hearing there. These ones here. And pull the gear up. And I'm going to let that set for at least 10 minutes. This top one is the brake pressure, so you're not going to just leave them small lines. But, uh, and, uh, I'm just going to watch that gauge. This is looking good. No leaks. See, so when John's F-18 had the old-style air cylinders, every one of them things leaked. But these are the new chrome ones. And they're holding tough. There's a bunch of them in this plane, but I'm going to check each system individual before I put the nose on. And that'll be next season on Bob TV. So be sure and tune in for the F 14 Tomcat building marathon. Once I get rolling with all them parts, baby, it ain't going to be long. So we'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time. Same Bob station.